What's up, everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod to Fame, and we are back with another edition of Mod News. And in today's news, we're going to be talking about the UAW automotive strike, what it is, what it isn't, and what it means for you. Let's jump into it. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is some of the biggest news that we have seen in our lifetime. This has been uh, uh, I would say a year of strikes. We have Hollywood, we have UPS, their threat looming and what they got from it. And now the automotive industry, and it's against the big three. We have Stellantis, which is Chrysler or used to be Chrysler Ford and GM. But let's find out a little bit more from someone a little bit smarter than me. The United Auto Workers has launched an historic targeted strike against the big three U.S. automakers, Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis, which is the parent company of Chrysler. On Thursday, UAW President Sean Fain announced strikes at three facilities, a GM plant in Wentzville, Missouri, a Stellantis complex in Toledo, Ohio, and a Ford assembly plant in Wayne, Michigan. About 12,700 workers are taking part in this initial strike. But Fain said the strike could be expanded. Tonight, for the first time in our history, we will strike all three of the big three at once. We are using a new strategy, the stand-up strike. We will call on select facilities, locals or units to stand up and go on strike. This strategy will keep the companies guessing. It will give our national negotiators maximum leverage and flexibility in bargaining. And if we need to go all out, we will. Let's stop right there, guys. So there you have it. Huge news right there. Uh, one of the first of its kind and something that we haven't really seen in decades, actually. So you have UAW workers. We're going to go over what they're asking for. But the stage that is set is we are now coming out of some of the most profitable years in the automotive industry due to uh, inventory shortages and the manufacturers being able to shift from inexpensive cars to way more optioned out expensive cars and making more profit than they ever have. Actually, to the tune of, you heard it, 21 billion with a B, 21 billion dollars let's talk about the uaw's list of demands the union wants to see a wage increase of 36 percent over the next four years and the automakers have came back and said in return in negotiation they said we'll do anywhere between uh stellantis being the lowest at 17.5 and i believe it was ford being the highest at 20 percent over the next four and a half years. So not quite 36%. They're not happy with that. They're looking for better benefits. The demands includes a 32 hour work week and a company finance health care in retirement. They also want all workers to receive a defined benefit pension, meaning right now it's some is loose for some of your temporary workers. It's loose for some of your newer workers. The more senior workers maybe have that more defined, but they're looking for it across the board. And currently, full-time workers at 2000, uh, after 2007 get a 401k with a 6.4% company contribution. They're looking to spread that across all employees. Uh, lastly, they're looking to eliminate the tiered employment. Um, the union wants to end the tiered system that puts newer workers on lower pay scales with lesser benefit. It also... Uh, it's also called on the companies to depend to depend less on temporary workers, I guess more so making more of those temporary workers permanent because some of those temporary workers are temporary workers for years, upwards of eight, uh, while manufacturers say hiring allows them to operate factories more efficiently. Those are the three asks. So as we talk about if those are the asks and these companies are looking to try to come toward them, you know, why wouldn't 
you take Ford's 20 percent than union workers. You know, why do you think you have the right to ask for better benefits? Why do you think you have the right to ask for a tiered union system? And seriously, a four day work week? Are you just lazy? These are some of the things that are combated from the other side. However, uh, listen to this as to what was given up in uh, during 2007, 2008, when things, when a bubble first burst and these manufacturers thought they were going to go under, listen to what the unions did to try to keep these companies at play. Jim Farley is uh, the Ford CEO. That's where Marcelina works. Yes. Made something like $21 million in total compensation last year, according to the Detroit um, News. Uh, while Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares made $24.8 million. Um, can you talk about why 2023, this historic strike, relates so directly to the 2009 crisis and what UAW agreed to give back because the company said they would go bankrupt. Sure. So there were a number of concessions that the workers agreed to, that the UAW agreed to, you know, quote unquote, to save these companies, right? They were failing, they were facing bankruptcy. Um, some of the things the workers gave up included um, cost of living allowances, COLA, as we call it. Um, so, you know, as inflation um, has been high lately, these workers are losing more and more money every every year in real wages. They introduced tiers, as I mentioned, you know, workers who are working alongside the, the older workers, the more senior workers, and being paid less. They lack pensions. Retirees are suffering. Um, these are all things that were supposed to be temporary, right? The company said, as soon as we're profitable, we'll give this back, right? It was this sense of partner Partnership. Um, that partnership was a poison pill for workers, and the UAW new leadership knows that. So there you have it. They've given up uh, some of these same things that we talked about. They created the tier system. Now they're like, this has to go away. Um, the, the temporary work structure. Um, they're like, some of these things have to go away. They took away the cost of living increases. They didn't take any increases for cost of living over a certain amount of years. Now they're saying we have to catch back up with cost of living. So some of these things seem outlandish, but then some of them seem like it's just common sense, right? So I guess the question comes down to how is this going to affect you? Depending on the news outlet that you look at, they're going to tell you that it's going to affect you uh, in that uh, car prices are going to raise. Um, this is you know, kind of the worker's fault. And then some news outlets say that this isn't going to affect you as much at all because these companies have been preparing for this by gearing up with inventory. For an example, Stellantis having the greatest amount of inventory, um, cars of days on age on a lot. So they can actually sustain a little bit longer of a strike. So it all depends on how you look at it. But here's what I can tell you. As of right now, um, under 13,000, I think it's like 12,700 to be exact. Workers have actually walked out on strike so far as of last night at 11:59 p.m. This is out of 150,000. So the 150,000 members or 140,000 members are in the union. If their demands are not met, they are going to start asking other plants to join and actually walk off of their job. If it gets to a point that 140,000 workers walk off their job, we are talking about billions of dollars a week losses for these manufacturers. Ford CEO telling us that the union's demands are unsustainable in an industry aiming to adapt to the future. We are one of the most important industries for jobs in America. Everyone will suffer, especially in the communities where we have plants. By one estimate, a strike at all three companies could cost the economy more than $5 billion, with tens of thousands of jobs lost. But what it means for you is right now we're in a really bad period anyway with purchasing vehicles, with lending amounts being through the roof, interest rates being so high. Uh, inventory across American car companies are more strong, but when you go over to Toyota, their inventory is a week and some other inventory is a week. So pricing still hasn't dropped significantly just yet. So 
it's just a a a a, a serious serious problem overall in the automotive industry and this strike i can tell you one thing if it doesn't hurt today we may feel the effects of it a little bit later anyway guys it's your boy stefan here from mod to fame and that is the mod news for today we will see you bright and early next week with more videos as well as more mod news make sure you come back and check it like subscribe share hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos going forward but until the next one we out we out